uh, you know, each day is just a little different. It's all preparation based and, and uh, early in the season it's a little easier because you don't have a lot of film to go on uh, to evaluate. Uh, and we, we both exchanged our first football game. So, uh, you know, you sit down and you, you watch film and you watch a lot of film. Uh, you got a lot of meetings. You talk about offensive staff, your defensive staff. Uh, you discuss your special team philosophy, what you're going to do, how you're going to try to attack them. And, um, and by today, on Thursday, you want to have, you know, uh, everything pretty much done. And uh, this should be kind of a put your polish on it type day. That's the kind of practice we should have. Our guys should go out, uh, understand responsibilities, uh, and be sharp um, in our practice. So i um, looking forward to a, an exciting trip, a good trip, and uh, going to Virginia to try to win a football game. That, first and foremost, is the number one thing that we have to control as a coordinator is to make sure everybody's doing the right things in their lives, okay? Because we preach that all the time is take care of your life off the field will make this part down here become easy. You know, we can't go up, up there and be it and jack around all the time and then expect to just flip a switch on down here. So that is our number one thing is to make sure our lives are in order, our players' lives are in order in terms of academics and, and being a great man. You know, becoming a man, you know, when they come in there as a young young individual, young boy, for lack of better words, is to become a man. Um, but then outside of that, it's, it's just organizing all of the stuff in terms of preparation for practice and getting all the practice scheduled down. What do we want to work on today? What's our focus of the day? What's our, uh, what's our adjusters and things we have to do, stuff like that. Um, but there's a lot that goes into it, a lot more than if it was just calling plays, it'd be extremely easy, but it's not. There's a lot more that goes into it, you know, substitutions those kinds of things. Also special teams, controlling us at that aspect of it with Coach Perrin. There's a lot of stuff that goes into it. You know, biggest thing is you, you gotta you gotta trust your sense assistance. And I feel like I got a good group. They do a great job. They work very hard. You know, a lot of stuff in their position, you know, that they gotta control. Um, but when it comes to when we meet, you know, we'll talk together, you know, make sure we're all on the same page. This is how I want it or this is how we want it as a group. Whatever that may be, we, we gotta communicate all the time. So we always we watch practice film, we watch it as a staff, um, so we're all on the same page. We don't watch it individually or anything like that. We want to make sure we're all on the same page. So, you know, we get together, and it's really group effort. It's not just, you know, me calling the plays and me doing all of this stuff. We work on what, what we all like, what we all feel comfortable with. If one of us doesn't feel comfortable with it, and, and, and we, we, we talk about it and kind of figure it out, and uh, we communicate well. And then, you know, once Whatever it is that week we need to focus on, or we need to work on, or, or I want to be a focus at practice, I kind of use them to relay that. They go to their meetings, they see their kids every, every, every day um, in the meetings. You know, I only see them on uh, Tuesdays as a group um, a lot, and then throughout the week a little bit here or there. But as a group, we, we meet on Tuesdays. But after that, you know, I relay a lot of the messages through them, and they talk about it in all their individual meetings, and make sure we're on the same page. And, and it's a big, big thing is communication. Whatever it is, we gotta communicate it. If one of us sees something on film we're not sure about, or we thought we were doing a different way, then we gotta talk to each other. And we do a pretty good job of that. You know, we got a lot of new guys on staff um, um, this season, so, but it's been a pretty good transition. We're all on the same page. We all know the things we want and things we like, so that makes it a lot easier when we get along like that. You know, we like to talk about Perfect Thursday. We try to have a you know, really solid practice on Thursday, and uh, you know, we wanna be perfect and you know, be, be solid in our execution on that day. Um, Friday's travel day, you know, um, you know, we get on the bus, it's a good time for the kids to just wind it down, check it down a little bit, watch some movies on the way there. We get there, you know, that evening, that afternoon, and, um, you know, in their hotel, and it's all business from there. You know, we, we have meetings throughout the day, we make sure to feed them well while they're there, a lot of good nourishment, and, uh, you know, Saturday morning we get after it. Go out and have fun. When we take the field, no matter if it's after an interception, or a fumble, or a big return in the uh, kick game. Be excited that you get an opportunity to be on the field, man. I mentioned it to you in practice when we're walking on and off the field, when we're in between sets. No, be excited to take the field, man. You get an opportunity to play football. The sport that you love, the sport that millions of people wish that they were in your seats and had the opportunity to do it. But you're blessed enough to get that opportunity to do it. Take advantage of it and have fun, man. Have fun. Confidence, have fun. We load the bus after we eat. Uh, come back in there at 9.50, have our meeting. On the bus, hit the road at 10 a.m. Okay? I'll remind you that again in the morning after breakfast. 
but it'll be a, a much quicker turnaround for tomorrow, right? We're gonna get there nice and early. Okay, nice and early, get there, we'll do our team walk. Um, and then you'll have enough time to roll around a little bit, prep probably however you need to prep. Get to lay the land a little bit. Uh, adjust the, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever weather elements are in place. We'll rock and roll. Got it? Believe. Believe, believe, believe. Be confident in your ability, in your preparation, in one another. And don't lose sight of it. Don't lose sight of your goal. Everybody wants to win it here. So believe it's going to happen. First quarter, second quarter, third quarter, two minutes left, I don't care. But we're going to play to win every play, every series, every quarter, in each half. We got it? Be hungry today, play pissed off, play with a chip on your shoulder, play together, and find a way to win. And do not lose the lead. We got it? Very good. Family on three. One, two, three. <coughs> My real job kind of starts when we get to the stadium. Um, I, I handle the, um, I kind of expedite the warm-ups. So I'll go out hour and a half before the game and we'll warm up the kids by groups. Um, and then as warm-ups progress, I'll blow the whistle and let everyone know, hey, we're going, moving on to this portion, or we're moving on to that portion. Um, back in the locker room, drink Gatorade, drink water, hydrate, make sure you're loose, focus, you know, all that, all the cliches that, that abound in my profession. Uh, and then on game day, I'm the, I'm the get back coach. It's my job to make sure that we don't get a sideline penalty because our kids are coming into the coaching box and into the white, you know, the white markings on the field. So I deal with the referees a lot. I try to make a lot of jokes so they give me a little leeway. Um, and then after the game, again, it's more of the same. Rehydrate, make sure you eat your post game. You know, we provide them with a post-game meal, make sure you eat it all, and then just tell them, close your eyes on the bus. Be on the freaking fence, man. Be tough. You got it? Sure. Let's have a hell of a day. I want you to have a great time. Have fun. Play to win on three. One, two, three. Play to win. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
I know we got a lot of veteran guys on this team and a lot of seniors. We want to win games, and that's tough. But I love you. I, watched, I loved watching you play today, and we're going to come back with a vengeance next week. You understand? How many games have we got left? Nine! Nine games, and five of them are at home, right? With a vengeance next week. Come back with a vengeance. Family on three. One, two, three. Family.